Hiya, I'm Adrian. If you're new, welcome, and if not, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. Today's video is all about DMSO, which is dimethyl sulfoxide. So please, don't tune out just yet because it's not just any old substance, it's something that you really, really need to hear about because it's got some extraordinarily health benefits. Extraordinarily? It has some extraordinary health benefits. And it's something I think should be in every household. So the structure of today's video is gonna be quite simple. I'm gonna tell you why I was looking, or what I was looking for, what DMSO does, what DMSO is, how it was discovered. I'm gonna list 25 things that you can use DMSO for, and that's of the 300 plus ailments it effectively treats. Why you don't hear about it, where you can get it, how to prepare it, how I use it, and both of those are really simple, and a few cautions and things to be aware of. So, the reason I found this was twofold. My oldest daughter's been sick for years. Um, so actually, she's on the men now, but she has fibromyalgia, ME, endometriosis, chronic fatigue syndrome, and other things. And I was looking, in that case, for natural pain relief. Now, for me, I was looking for heavy metal toxicity. Well, actually not looking for it, looking for a way to treat it, and also to hopefully improve my eyesight. So what, it, what does DMSO actually do? Well, it penetrates the blood-brain barrier really easily. It penetrates the skin even more easily, and that's actually where you have to be a little careful when you're using it. You just have to make sure your skin's very clean because anything that's on your skin will get carried into your body otherwise. It's systemic, which means it affects your entire body no matter where you apply it. It's a muscle relaxant. It's radioprotective, which means it protects against x-rays, but also against nuclear radiation by repairing the DNA. So if you know anyone in and around Fukushima, which is still spewing out radiation and no one's talking about it, it might be worth mentioning this video to them. It's cryoprotective, which means it protects against injury due to freezing. And it also helps, and I'm gonna, hopefully I can say this word, it's anticholinesterase, there's a neurotransmitter and it's responsible for learning, for memory, relaxation and regulation of the immune system and it works really well with that. Um, heavy metal detoxification, this was the bit I was looking for for me. Um, the sulfur which is in it, and, ma and mainly it is a sulfur compound, binds to the toxic heavy metals, things like mercury, lead, aluminium, cadmium, arsenic, nickel, and then you eliminate these via urination, defecation, so we poo and sweat. It's a really, really potent painkiller. It basically blocks the nerves conducting fibers, and it's extraordinary that. It's a very strong anti-inflammatory. It's antiviral, uh, and I think it opens the virus up to attack by the immune system. It's antifungal, anti-swelling. It increases the cell permeability, which means you can get more nutrients in and more toxins back out. Actually, maybe it goes the other way in that way now though, I don't know. Um, it improves blood supply. It dilates blood vessels. It improves oxygenation. It reduces the stickiness of your platelets. It stimulates your immune system and it's probably the strongest free radical scavenger there is. So about DMSO, it stands for dimethyl sulfoxide and it's actually an industrial solvent. Now, when I read that, you're probably thinking like I did, that what can that possibly have to do with health? It's a byproduct of the craft or sulfate pulping process and pulp is the raw material for making paper. And interestingly enough, I was involved in that industry for decades, many decades ago. It's an organic sulfur compound. There is no life on this planet in animals or plants without sulfur. It's one of the most common elements in us and we just have to have it. And it helps distribute the bioavailable sulfur throughout your bodies. It was isolated first by a Russian gentleman in 1866 called Alexander Saitsev. I hope I said that right, S-A-Y-T-Z-E-F-F. -F. It's crystalline in nature, it's odorless. It's non-toxic, in fact, it's so gentle, they use it for storing stem cells, bone marrow, organs for transplants, and even human embryos. You have a garlic-like taste um, in your mouth, which I presume is from the sulfur when you use it. In 1963, a research team headed by Stanley W. Jacob, MD, discovered its medical properties, and he discovered that it had around 40 pharmacological properties, which is amazing. It's a huge number for any one substance. It freezes at 16 degrees C, so if you go and get your bottle and it's gone solid, don't worry, just drop it into a pan of warm or hot water, leave it for 10 minutes or so, and it'll turn back into a liquid and you can go, uh, you're good to go. And it has an indefinite shelf life, so it doesn't go off. So here's a list, and this is a partial list of things that DMSO is very effective at treating. Burns, 
acne, arthritis. And there's an interesting story actually of a young girl, um, I think she may have been six or seven, that had very bad rheumatoid arthritis and was couldn't walk, couldn't move with it. They applied it to her, she was able to start moving, then she was able to start walking and she started crying. And when she was asked why, she said, because it doesn't hurt anymore. And that, that really, that did it for me. Uh, it helps with mental retardation. Strokes, there was a woman who had a painful jaw. She painted it on the jaw and shortly after could write with her paralyzed hand and could walk better. There was a man having a stroke. He was given it in juice every 15 minutes and it, gated the, it negated the effects of the stroke even though he wasn't able to get medical attention for 12 hours. Closed uh, head injuries. It prevents brain swelling and is enormously effective for that. And because it prevents brain swelling, that means, sorry, there's a, a cat just come in and wants some attention. <laughs> hey, fella. <laughs> in fact, we're going to talk about him in a minute, funnily enough, because he's going to be the, the star of the show. Uh, anyway, so it, because it prevents your brain from swelling in the enclosed space, that can prevent paralysis. It's very good for toothache, which is another reason I took it. If you get a headache, rub some on your temples, on your forehead, the headache goes away. If it comes back, apply it again. Uh, hemorrhoids, it's good for muscle strains, sprains, spinal cord injuries. Uh, it helps prevent paralysis. And I've read some interesting stories where people have used it when they are paralyzed and it's helped take that back and they get some movement back, which is amazing. Uh, scar tissue, it softens it. Fibromyalgia, interstitial cystitis, which I understand is incredibly painful. Diabetes, congestive heart failure. Uh, it helps regress cancers, AIDS, cold sores. It stops them in their tracks. Uh, helps improve eyesight. That was a strange thing I noticed. I would used it for the heavy metal thing and uh, yeah, my vision started to improve, which is great. It does help with macular degeneration. It helps with block sinuses. You can apply it inside your nostrils or to your face. Gum disease, it can reduce tooth decay, varicose veins and cataracts. And that's just a small list of what it can do. Now, why don't we hear about it? Well, it's a common chemical. It's cheap to manufacture. It's a natural compound, which means the pharmaceutical companies can't get an exclusive pay. <laughs> Put these teeth back in. It means the pharmaceutical companies can't get an exclusive patent on it, and therefore it's of no value to promote it, which is one of the reasons we don't hear about it. And a quick story about the cat that was here a minute ago and has now gone off to get some food. He broke his tail in two places and it eventually needed amputating. During that whole treatment process, we decided against using the vet prescribed stuff and instead we used DMSO for pain relief and colloidal silver for infection control. When I was speaking to the older vet later on and told him what we'd done, he said, yeah, he said that DMSO, it's great stuff. We just can't prescribe it. So where can you get it? I buy it at Amazon. There's a link below. The one I get is Regency Organics with a 99.99% .99 purity and purity is important. Uh, you can buy it in health food shops, online shops. Um, so how to take it, how to use it. I mix it 50-50, DMSO and distilled water, and I make just a capful, so a capful of DMSO and a capful of water into a glass bottle, and you must store it in glass, not in plastic. And then it creates a little bit of heat or generates a little bit of heat when you first do that. That's perfectly normal. And I still apply it every day after showering. I put it on my temples, I put it on my eyelids, my wrists and forearms, and on the soles of my feet. By the way, did you know the soles of your feet are really, really absorbent? And, and I, you can do this if you want, it's kind of interesting. Get a bowl of water, put your feet in it, make sure the bowl's big enough. Put some garlic in it, crush some garlic in it, and sit there, and after about half an hour, you'll taste garlic. So your feet are incredibly absorbent. Um, actually, as another aside, if you wanted to use Vicks, which I probably wouldn't do, but if you did, it works better if you rub it on your feet. So some cautions. Do your homework. It can cause skin irritation when you first start using it. Itching, that does pass, but boy, it does itch, or it can itch. Um, if you decided to use it internally, which you could do, be very, very careful and make sure you dilute it a lot more and understand what you're doing. You will likely experience a very big die-off of toxins and things that shouldn't be in your body and will have a very strong Herxheimer reaction. On that subject, when I was using it, I got the most vile headaches, but they passed. And that also was part of the the, um, the cleansing it does, if you will. Now, DMSO also increases the effects of blood thinners, steroids, heart medicine, sedatives, and so on. So if you're on any of those, be very careful, get medical advice, make sure you know what you're doing. So to sum up, I think every household should have this. So get yourself some. If you wanna read more, read the article, it's linked below and do your own research. 
DMSO, there's been more than a million articles I've read, written, well, I haven't read, but I've read the number is that big. Does that make any sense? There's a, there's a huge number, more than a million of articles that have been written about DMSO. It's such potent stuff. And finally, if you like the video, please click on the like button, it's important to me. Um, and click on the subscribe button and the bell icon if you want to be kept up to date. And we're done. So it's been lovely talking to you and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.